It's time to nip something in the bud real quickly and real fast. Those who are not black, please do not respond. This is not for you. This is for me and my people. We're going to have a conversation. Here we go. This is my family. Now, to some of you, because of the fact that that's my family, doesn't make me pro-black. Yeah, right. Because, like, <laughs> is it pro-black a political movement like how white supremacy is a political movement it's like how people was looking at thomas jefferson like he's crazy because he had all them kids with sally him is it's like sir you was like a whole slave owner and a white supremacist like i mean like everything that you moving towards don't make no sense you you given you know you having all these black children I, I, uh, let me uh doesn't mean i support my people doesn't mean I support my cause. Let me break down to you how that looks. Do you, Farrell Ramsey, support black businesses? Yes. Yes, I do. Do you, Farrell Ramsey, support black movements on and off the app? Yes. Yes, I do. Do you, Farrell Ramsey, use your time to speak up and speak out for your people? Yes. Yes, I do. I've actually given lectures at Temple University for my people. Isn't your wife white? Yes. And... See? See? You're not pro-black. He's not pro-black. Am I missing something? It's like, it's like, it's like somebody saying like, I'm not a misogynist. I'm not misogynist. Look, 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 look. See? See how you talking? I'm trying to do a reaction video and you just, he wake up talking trash, but I can't, I can't. Oh my, really? <laughs> oh, can I record? Come, come give me a kiss to Umar. <laughs> with you. <laughs> anyway, it's like you say, you, you is not a misogynist. You not a misogynist. But then you come home and you treat your wife like trash. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you just say women is just lower and women is trash. But, you know, I'm married to a woman, but I'm not a misogynist. Like, it, it's just the math thing, math thing. Like, I mean, what is you talking about? You talking about just only money and speaking at colleges and stuff. Like, the it's a political movement. It, it's, it's a movement. The... I can't participate in this movement, even though my husband is black. I can't participate in the movement because we ain't allowed to be racist or prejudiced in Islam. But he's sitting there attaching himself to this movement. I don't know if it's for views. I don't know what it's about. But it's not matching. It's it just don't. It's not mathing. It don't make no sense. He does everything else. He supports everything else. But because his wife is white, he ain't pro-black. That is how the you sound and look. And and they know that they sound and look like that. They try to tell you, you look crazy because you're... I just said it like... Like... I'm not understanding how this is not connecting with this dude, but it gets worse as this goes along. Cause I, I kept saying this can't be what this is about. This gotta be about something else. Cause it, it's not making no sense. How are you surprised? If I mean, just just go on Doctor Umar's page, go on his page, and he explains why the pro black movement is the way it is. This is what it's about. Da, 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 da. Why he don't agree with interracial marriages? He explained it, and it's like. What you trying to redefine this? Like, I'm, I am confused. And some of y'all even get offended at the fact that I defend my wife against black people. Nip something in the bud real fast. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Shh, come here. This, this dude had me looking up on the internet what black was. Because I said, this just threw me off for the whole video. Like, like let me, okay. She's my wife. I chose her. Do you not get what that means? That means that I spent my love life finding people, dating people, in and outside of my race, and it just so happened that I fell in love with somebody who was outside. <laughs> this is... This
this is crazy. Okay, uh, let me break down why I said this is crazy. Like, it's like, is he talking to his mission? Who is he talking to that's like he chose her? Like, I mean, who is checking to see, like, who cares who, why you marry whoever you marry? Like, this is about a political movement that you're moving against, but you're claiming the political movement. It's, it's you know what it's like? It's like how... It's like how the Republicans is mad at Trump for whatever reasons they be mad at him and talking about that he's ruining the Republican movement because he's moving in a way that's going against the way their political movement is allegedly supposed to go. That's their business, whatever. But he talking about some love as if love has to do with a politically motivated marriage. Case in point, it's it's politics with Islam, Sharia law, whatever you want to call it. We got married for the sake of Allah, for the cause of Allah, for the will of Allah. That's the only reason why we got married. We did not get married for no tax write off. But we ain't get no married for no business. We ain't get married for no love. None of that. It was specifically for the for the sake of Allah. Now, some people might look at that as a arranged marriage, as a business agreement. You can look at it whatever way you want to. But if you don't think your marriage is political, you are the Lulu. Your marriage is a political movement. Go, go, get, getting a driver's license is a political movement. Getting a, a trade license for your career is a political movement. So, yes, it's a political group and He's now he about to explain his love. What does the love have to do? Sir. Was it intentional? No. Was I looking for it? No. Was she looking for it? No. Was it intentional for her? No. It just happens. So if you feel some type of way about the fact that I defend my wife against any black creator or black person on this app that decides to challenge the legitimacy of my relationship by calling it a Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> I, see, this is what I kept saying. Who is this for? Like, who said these things to you? Like, is this just conjured up in his brain or somebody legit said it's <laughs> Somebody say that to this dude with the Stockholm Syndrome thing. Because <laughs> that's messed up. Um, Can I do the video? And the dog running around the back where I can't even talk. Oh my goodness. They're saying that my biracial children, my black children, my black children shouldn't exist. Shut, shut up. I'm I'm like I'm like legit confused. Like, I mean, he he said they black, they biracial. You see how ridiculous this is wow. You see what I'm saying? Everything he just said is all political. The whole race. Thing is literally political. It's, Yo, who knew this? Who knew this? You. I'm making a reaction video. I'm not even talking to you. <laughs> Why don't you get out? Get out. <laughs> anyway, people identify as different things when they is biracial. Like and he just done <clears throat> told them what their identity is, and isn't it? <clears throat> One thing's for certain, two things for sure. I will defend my family, including my wife, against any and all comers. If you don't like who I invite to my bed, it's a you problem, not a me problem. Because you're not feeding, financing, nor fuck on a regular to be able to make any decisions for me. Like this Jones so indirect, he should have tagged somebody to it. It's like, who, who is this addressed to? Because it just doesn't make any sense. 
What happens in my bedroom has nothing to do with me being pro-black or not. Because the same people who are on that pro-black tip about me being in an interracial relationship are the same people who will go around and say that I'm not pro-black because I'm bisexual. Is he saying that he, he bisexual? What? I, I, I don't understand. What's he saying? And if you still support those people and support those idealisms and sit there and try to tell me that I'm wrong for my relationship and I'm not pro-black, I have a left and a right <laughs> that you can talk on. Oh! <laughs> what? You choose and tell me which one tastes better. Because I stand ten toes down with my people. And if you don't like anything that I have to say about it, then that's a you problem. What what people is he talking about? Is he talking about his his white wife or the mixed kids? Or is he talking about the black people? Because he started out by saying my people. You see you see how it's confusing? See how the political stuff that we bring a race into it, it is confusing. You see? He, he want to be part of the racial movement. And not a me, bro. So, let this be a forewarning. If you catch me in these live streets, you catch me in these streets, Barry, and you talking sideways about my family, I will beat your ass from B1 to Z1. <laughs> Don't nobody who gonna do that. Send out internet threats. They just do it. They just it just just do it. It's like I, I don't I'm not this is so weird.